Hey everyone, welcome to the Knit and Crochet Spot. My name is Melissa and I'm coming to you from the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. Today is Wednesday, April 20th. I hope everyone is doing well. If you're new here, I'd like to say welcome and let you know that this channel is about knitting, crochet, and yarn. And if you're returning, I'd like to say welcome back. So I'm doing a video today instead of Sunday. Normally I like to do a weekly video on Sundays to show everyone what I've been up to for that week. But because it was Easter, I didn't have time. I was with my family and if you do celebrate Easter or you did celebrate Easter, I hope you had a wonderful day. So I was with my family and I just, I didn't have time to do a video. But I didn't want it to get you know, to go too far, get too behind. So I had some time today and I thought I would do a video today. And I have some finished objects, some works in progress, and a tiny bit of acquisitions to share with you today. But first I would like to remind everyone that I have a giveaway going on on my channel and I will be picking a winner for that on Friday, April 22nd. So that's just in a few days. I am giving away some yarn from my stash. I've been clearing out my craft room and reorganizing my yarn. And I noticed that I had some yarn that I probably will not be able to use. And I thought I would give it to one lucky winner to show my appreciation to all of my subscribers. So I will link that video down below. If you're interested, please go and check it out. All I ask is that you're subscribed to the channel and that your subscriptions are on public so that when I pick a winner, I'll be able to see that you're subscribed. And please give that video a thumbs up and leave a comment on that video. And this um, giveaway is worldwide. So no matter where you are in the world, I will ship these to you if you win. So good luck to everyone. So let's get on to what I have to show you today. So we'll start with my finished objects. I have two finished objects and this is the first finished object. It is a knit hat. It's just a vanilla hat. And what I do for my vanilla hats is I cast on 84 stitches. I do a two by two rib for probably an inch and a half to two inches, kind of. I just really eyeball it and when I think it looks good enough. I then start on the body of the hat and I go about six and a half, maybe closer to seven inches before I start my decreases. And then there are the decreases. So this hat I knit for um, uh, Crochet Creations by Christy. She also has, she has a YouTube channel and she also has a Facebook page that they go hand in hand. And on the Facebook page, she has many giveaway, or rather, um, she has many make-alongs where she gives, she does give stuff away. And one of them is where if you knit or crochet a hat every month and enter it in, you can possibly win a prize. So that is why I knit this hat. Well, I like to knit hats. But I didn't really have a specific hat in mind to knit or crochet for the month of April. So I just did a vanilla hat. And I will enter this into, I this will be my April entry. And, and you enter it into her Facebook page. And I will link that down below as well. So there is the hat. Um, I knit this on, so this, the, I knit the brim in um, four millimeter knitting needles, 16 inch circulars, and then I did the rest of the hat on um, a 4.5 millimeter circular needle. That's how I did that. And the, this yarn is so incredibly soft. Let me take it off the, it's so soft. It's so soft. This yarn is from Hobium and it is called Etrophil Baby Cashmere. They still have, I don't know if they have, I'm sh I think they might have this color, but they still have a lot of this yarn on their website. And this is um, it's 10% cashmere, 90% polyamide, 100 grams, 225 meters. And let's see, it calls for the knitting needles, it calls for a four millimeter knitting needle. So, um, and let's see, it's 225 meters. So how many yards? I'm not really good at that, but, so it's between a DK and a worsted. So, and I usually, for some worsteds, I will use like a five millimeter, but this 
work perfectly with a four millimeter for the body of the hat. I'm sorry, 4.5 millimeter. I did the brim in four, four millimeter. So there's that hat. And this is what I have left of the yarn. It's incredibly soft. Next time I do a Hobium um, order, I don't know when because I'm trying, you know, I, you know, you can get, get a lot of yarn for a good price from Hobium and I don't need that much yarn. I don't need to do that, but next time I do, because I'm sure I will, I will be getting more of this. It's incredibly soft. I had another, so in it, I bought this year, a couple years ago, I bought two skeins and I made hats out of both and they're just, it's just so soft and I just love how it came out. So that is my first finished object. I think I said everything about that. And my second finished object is a big one. Yay, I got it done. This is my Cabled Trellis Shawl by Stephen West. If you've been following my channel for any length of time, you've seen this many times and it is finished now. I really concentrated on getting this done. I am so happy with it. I am so happy with it. So here it is. It's finished. I'm trying to get out of the way so you can see it. There it is. Look at it. I'm so happy with it. I will also insert a picture somewhere here where I have it laid out when I was blocking it so you can see it all in its full glory. So, but here it is. I will do that. I don't know. I'm filming this now, obviously, so I don't know when I will insert the picture, but it'll be somewhere in here. But here it is. So let me take it off this and come a bit closer and I will show you. Um, I did something a little different because I was about to run out of yarn and I was seriously gonna run out of yarn. So I did the border differently because, sorry, I've got wood floors here <clears throat> and they make a lot of noise. Um, so here on the border, I didn't have enough yarn to do the border that was called for, so I ended up just doing an I-cord bind off, and I think it just came out perfect. I think it goes really well with the shawl. I think it goes really well. I think it kind of goes with the cable, you know, the cables. So I did that. Um, yeah, so. The um, border was supposed to be in this main color, and this is all I had left um, after doing the I-cord bind off, so I definitely wouldn't have had enough to do that border. Let's see, um, On he mentions in his pattern that um, um, if you run out of the main color, you can use the contrasting color for the border. So I thought, well, yeah, that must mean that, you know, that's kind of, something that could happen. So I went on Ravelry and sure enough, a lot of people were talking about that they were running out of the main color. And one person did this I-cord bind off. And I said, that's what I'm gonna do. And and one lucky thing, if I had done the border, I would have had to do like another, I don't know, six rows or whatever. So, um, yeah, so, I was like, oh, minus six rows, I can deal with that. And it's plenty big enough. And it blocked out, and it's just, it's so lovely. I really love this. It was worth all of, all the time that it took for me to do it. It's just beautiful. I'm really, really happy with it. So the other, so let's see, I'll show you what. It, so this is the pattern. It's a paid for pattern on Ravelry. So that's the pattern. Here's some more examples. I didn't use, I got the, I used yarn out of my stash. I didn't use the yarn that was called for, or that was suggested, I should say. I used, you've seen this so many times, but you won't have to, this will be the last time. <laughs> but I'll say it one final time. So the yarn that I used, the main color, this is all I have left. I used two skeins, 200 gram skeins, and this is Apothecary Fabrications. Here's the label. This yarn is, I bought quite a few years ago, so they, her labels may look very different now. I don't know. Well, I should know because I, I did, well, I have more for yarn that I got last year, but 
I think the labels have changed. But anyway, it's 100% fine merino wool, 115 grams, 250 yards. And there's no colorway on this. And 100% fine merino wool, delightful DK. So that is that. And then the contrasting color is this yarn. So I have quite a bit of this left. So I used one full skein of this, and then this is the second skein of what I have left. This is Lang Yarns Frida Merino Extra Fine Superwash. It's 100 grams, 220 meters. Um, and yeah, this just has a colorway number. It doesn't have um, a name, but I have, yeah, I have quite a bit of that left. And I used, for this, I used, um, let's see, uh, a 4.5 millimeter knitting needle on 47 inch cord. So there is that, and there is that. I'm very happy with it, and I'm very glad that it's done. I cannot, I cannot wait to use this actually. And, you know, probably too warm now, but you know, winter will be back, fall will be back and I will be using this. You know, I can't wait. I'm just in love with it. So let me just kind of put it back on here a little bit. There we go. All right, so now on to my works in progress, and I have four. Let's see. So this works in progress. This is my only, the only type of crochet I have to show. Um, this I started a while back, and I'll be honest with you, I kind of forgot about it. I did, but I just have a lot of knitting I've been doing, and I want to do some crochet. And um, I thought, well, you know, do you remember that pattern you were doing? And I was like, oh, yeah. So I went and looked for it, and I found it. And I did show it one time, but it was I, I barely started it. So I've done a lot of work since. So it's been in this bag. This is the Twist Fiber Studio bag. And this is the, um, the pattern is... Um, the Through the Rain Cowl by Isabella Tomsky of Fiber and Fox. And she has a YouTube channel as well. And she, she is a crochet designer. So I will link all that information below. It's, this is a paid for pattern. So here it is. And this is what I have so far. So when I showed it, I just had the brim. I think I might have had a couple rows past the brim done. But here it is. Oh, let me. Yeah, this is the right side. Okay. Get the yarn out of the way so you can get a good look. So this is what I have so far. So I was probably just like, so I, I know that I had this brim done. Um, and so I was probably just like right there. But this is what I have so far. It's, I love it. So this, the pattern, um, if you look at her pattern, she used uh, mini skeins in hers. And the pattern is written so that um, if you want to do mini skeins, you know how many rows of, you know, how many rows to do of one mini skein. And then she'll say switch to this mini skein. And, you know, she has it all laid out like that. And then obviously this is, you know, there's a main color, but I didn't want to do that. Um, I didn't really want to do that. I may do it for another one. If I hope that I'll do another one cause I'm really enjoying it. And I can see this, um, just coming out in all kinds of different variations and being, you know, just, I don't know. I just hope that I will do more than just one, just to see the different ways that it can come out using, different yarns and stuff like that. So I've just used two yarns here. And the yarns that I'm using are, 
So the main color is this yarn. And this is Cedar Hill Farm Company. And the colorway is Dolly Levy. It is on the Rocket Sock Base. It's four ply fingering weight, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 463 yards, 100 grams. So there's that one. Um, that's what I have left to go. So I have plenty. And then the second yarn that I'm using, the yarn, all that yarn in between there is this yarn. This is, um, it is a Hobby Lobby yarn. It is the Yarn B Authentic Hand Tie, Hand Dyed Tonal, and the colorway is Tabby. And let's see, it is 100 grams, 420 yards, 100% superwash merino wool. So these are the two yarns. And then the crochet hook I'm using is a 3.75. So there is that one. I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm enjoying it a lot. It's so pretty. I love the colors. So there's that. So that is that works in progress. That's my only crochet. <clears throat> so my other three works in progress are knit. There is a knit shawl I want to start. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But I'm a little bit... Um, I guess I feel a little bit intimidated by it. Um, there's a lot of techniques I've never done in crochet. So um, every time I think about crochet, I keep thinking about that shawl and I think, oh. So maybe that's why I don't have as many crochet projects going. So let's see, so here is the next one. And this is in a tea dottles bag. So you've seen this, yes, you have seen this. This is, I'll show you the pattern first. This is knit, obviously. <coughs> this is the Crooked You Cowl by Pamela Amon's Fusil. Here it is. This pattern I bought in a kit on the Barrett Wool Company website, Susan B. Anderson's website company. And the pattern's no longer available. You could only buy it with the kit. So I don't really have anything to link it down. I don't have anything, I can't link it to anywhere, but I will definitely link Susan B and the Barrett Wool Company. There's just so many cool things on that. So many cool kits and stuff on that website. It's worth checking out. So there is that. Um, and this is what I have so far. Mm. So this is what I have. So here it is. Um, the last time you saw it, I was here, right here. So I've done all of that. And it's slowly starting to change colors. Can you tell? It's very subtle. But here it is. Here's the detail. It's very, it's very simple. All it is is yarn overs. And knit two togethers and slip slip knits. That's all it is. It's very easy. <clears throat> if you know those stitches, you could do this. So this is the yarn that I'm using. This is what I have left. So it's a gradient. So it's getting, as you can see, it's going to get darker. <coughs> This is the yarn label. It's the Wisconsin Woolen Spun Even Fall. And there is the Barrett, the Barrett Wool Company, their symbol there. This yarn is 450 yards, 114 grams. It's fingering weight yarn. <coughs> Excuse me, the colorway is Penny Gradient. It's 100% American wool. And there it is. And the needles I'm using for this, so my high high interchangeable, my high high sharps, and they are four millimeters. So I'm really enjoying this. This is, I'm really enjoying knitting this. I love this kind of yarn, very rustic yarn. And I think a four millimeter knitting needle is my favorite, and I'm just enjoying it. So there it is. And this is this cute guy here. 
This is from Simply Serving. That's where I got this. And that is that works in progress. So the next two are socks that I have to show you. The first sock you've seen before, and I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this sock, but I'm gonna show it to you and then I'll explain. I'm not really enjoying knitting it. This is an Amali Klein Designs bag. <clears throat> And I'm knitting, this is a free pattern on Ravelry. It is called the, the Wool of the Wisp. I will link that down below, it's free on Ravelry. And this is what I have been doing. So here it is, it's got stitch markers in it because it's a 12 row repeat. So every time I put in a new repeat, I put in a new stitch marker. So I don't know if you can see the pattern that well because all these stitch markers in there. So this is the sock. Um, this is just the first sock. I'm pretty sure this is where I was last time. This is where I'm going to put my heel. Um, it, call, it, it, it calls for a heel flap and gusset. Um, I'm, I was, I want to do a, um, an afterthought heel. I don't know, I forgot that. But anyway, I'm pretty sure, so this is where my afterthought heel is, but I'm pretty sure last time I showed it to you, I hadn't placed the heel, or if I had, I just barely had. So it's kind of, this is kind of where I stopped last time. So I've done all of that. But I'm seriously considering frogging this, to, uh, just ripping it out because I'm not really enjoying it. I had made up my mind. I was definitely just gonna frog it because the yarn is very strange. Um, strange feel well so here's the yarn this is a knit picks yarn it's beautiful i love it it doesn't feel this way in the skein like it does on the sock <laughs> but this is it i'll tell you about it it is hawthorne fingering weight spark speckle 357 yards for 100 grams 80 percent superwash fine highland wool 20 percent polyamide so that is that. This is the yarn. It feels like this yarn is just, I would have never guessed, but it, it feels like in this sock form, it feels like it has cotton in it, like it's a cotton blend. So it's not very stretchy. It's not as stretchy. See, it's just not as stretchy as, it's, it's not stretchy like cotton wouldn't be stretchy. And it's slow going knitting this. It's just, I'm not enjoying it, knitting with it. It's not, it just doesn't flow. It's stiff. I'm not entirely sure it's going to feel that great on my foot. It's odd. It's strange, this yarn. I don't know what it is. It really feels like it has cotton in it. I don't know what it is. But then I'm looking at it and I'm like, it's so pretty. And... I'm thinking maybe I would be fine on my feet because it don't really feel rough or anything. And so I'm like, oh, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't frog it. I don't know. What I think I'm going to do in a last ditch attempt to maybe carry on is I'm going to change my needles. So these are my Addy Rockets and this is um, nickel plated. They're super, super smooth and they go real fast. But, um, they're not for this. They're like really clinging to this. This yarn is like, so I thought maybe I would try my knit, um, knit picks. The knit picks needles are almost feel the same as these. No, the, um, my high, high sharps. I think I'm going to switch over to those needles and see if it knits easier with that. Uh, so I don't know. These may get frogged. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, so there's that. So I knit my socks on 2.25 needles and this is a 32 inch cord. And like I said, it's my Addy Rockets and I do magic loop. So there is that sock and you may not see it again. <laughs> I don't know yet. I'm going to switch needles and see if that helps any. You just would never guess. This doesn't, this feels fine. This just feels like regular yarn, normal, you know. 80-20 yarn. 
but at any rate so that is that works in progress so because i was i was i had my mind set that i was going to frog this sock i said well i need to get another sock on the go um because i like to um always i always always have a sock that i'm knitting and so i started another sock it's just a vanilla sock so it is in this bag this is the frog peak creations bag and this is um i think yeah this is just a vanilla sock but i'm using i don't know if you watched last time you know that i bought some dpns because i'm working on an owl which i didn't give i didn't give any work to an owl I'm, work, I'm doing an owl and I'm using DPNs for that and I'm really enjoying it. So I thought, well, I'm going to get some sock needles. And I did. And I showed you what I got. And I said, well, I'm going to start a sock with the needles. So I got the Knitter Knitter's Pride Zing DPNs, a 2.25. And I'm knitting a sock with them. It's going fine. Here's the sock, what I have so far. Um... I would say that I'm a little bit slower on this, which is, you know, makes sense because I'm not used to it. It's a different, you know, it's different, but I'm not getting any ladders or anything like that, which I wasn't really worried about because I don't, I do use DPNs to close up hats and I mean, I have used them and I've never really had trouble with ladders. So, but there it is. I knit my, this is a vanilla sock. I knit, I knit this top down, cuff down. A two by two rib for 15 rows and yep so there it is and I love this is out of my stash this is I've had this in my stash for a while this sock yarn here it is there's a lot um, this is paint box yarns here's their label the colorway is Pixel Newsprint? No. I don't think... Well, I guess it is Pixel Newsprint. I had another one that I, it was a black and white that I thought was that colorway. I'll have to check that. If it's different, I'll link it down below. But anyway, I have all this. There's a big skein of yarn here. This is, let's see, 100 grams 390 meters, 426 yard yards, 75% wool, superwash, 25% polyamide. So there it is. And there this is, and I am enjoying it. Um, it's just, I guess I go a little bit faster on my magic loop because that's what I'm used to. But I'm still enjoying it, and I'm sure over time I'll just get used to it and keep going. So I'm enjoying that. It's always nice to have a vanilla sock. I like it. I, I really do. I, I like it. It's sort of, you can just, you know, it's just, it's just easy and mindless. And you come out with something I think really cool, <laughs> a sock. So there it is. So that is all my works in progress. And I have a, just a little bit of acquisitions to share with you. The only thing I am sure I'm going to end up losing that. I pretty feel pretty certain I'm going to end up losing that. So I have just a very little bit of acquisitions to show you. I have a skein of yarn, sock yarn, and here it is. This is self-striping yarn, and it is from Mustache Yarns. And this is... <clears throat> let's see it's the perfect must match set so i'm assuming i've never had mustache yarns before i'm assuming when i unravel this there'll be two smaller <coughs> hanks to wind up because it says it's they start and stop at the same place so you don't have to worry about you know um figuring out how to match your socks it does it for you this is fingering sock weight, 7525 superwash merino nylon, <coughs> 460 yards, 100 grams. I think this is the colorway Cascarones. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. 
but it's, ooh, I love it. It's beautiful. I like self-striping yarn. I've been a little bit, I haven't been doing it lately. I've been going for um, some other yarns and just a tiny bit of uh, patterning in the yarns, but I'm very happy to have this. So that is, that is all the yarn I bought. <coughs> and then I got something from Simply Serving. She sells stitch markers. She sells um, all kinds of things. You really ought to go check out her Etsy shop. She is just super talented. She does a lot of, um, like I showed you, the, um, is it the Ewok, the polymer clay stitch marker? Um, now she's doing some wood stitch markers, and that's what I bought. I have something else in here, but I can't show it because it's for my mother, and I'm afraid if she watches, she'll see it. But it comes packaged in this cute little bag. Isn't that adorable? And she does all kinds of things. She doesn't just, she does, she makes necklaces. She has, I think, some needle minders. She has some artwork prints, stationery, all kinds of things. So I'm just going to show you the stitch marker I got. Because the other thing I got, I bought from my mother, and I don't want her to see it because it's for Mother's Day. Here it is. I got to get it. Here it is. I got to get it out of the plastic. I'm just going to cut this because I'm not going to reuse this. Oh, it's adorable. Can you see it? Isn't it cute? I will probably... I will put a picture of this too in here somewhere so you can get a better look at it. Isn't it adorable? So it's a, um, it's made, it's wooden. It's just adorable. Oh my goodness. And this is all her artwork. I just love her, um, web. I just love her Etsy shop. She, it's just, she has the coolest stuff on there. So that's it. I wish I could show you the necklace. Um, but I can't. I just said it was a necklace. If my mom watches, yes, you're getting a necklace for Mother's Day, but I'm not going to show you what it looks like. So there is that. That is all my acquisitions and all that I have to show you. I hope you enjoyed this podcast, and I appreciate it if you stuck around. It's a half hour, not too bad. I appreciate it if you stuck around this long. I really do appreciate it. Um, it, it, it means a lot when people watch the entire video and it helps your channel out a lot. And it also does help if you give a thumbs up. I'm just appreciative for people watching my channel and sending me wonderful comments. I, I love it so much. So thank you all so much. I hope you all have a great week. I'm not sure about if I will podcast this Sunday or not because, well, this weekend on Saturday, my husband and I are going up to um, the Georgia Mountains. It's like my favorite place. And they, there's a yarn festival up there. The Georgia Mountain Needle Arts Festival, something like that. Something like that. I'll link it below. It's a long name. I can't remember it. But I've been to it before. But it, obviously because of COVID and all that, it's been canceled for the past two years. So... They're having it again on Saturday, so we'll be going to that. And then on Sunday is my grandson's eighth birthday party. So I will, I don't know if I'll be podcasting Sunday. Probably not. I think I'll be tired. But at any rate, um, I will be podcasting in the week because I'll want to show you the things that I bought at the festival. It is very small and very quaint. It is, but it is. I love it. I love the, I love Georgia mountains. I love going up there. So we're going to make a day out of it. And I can't wait to go up there and see the ladies from the yarn shops that I go up there. And I'm, I'm just excited. It's quaint and it's just, it's just, you're just around people that think like you and it's just a lot of fun. So I'm excited. So I will, if I don't see you Sunday, probably not. I will do my best to do something in the week to show you my what I worked on for the week and also what I bought at the festival. I hope you all have a great week and that um, you know that you have lots of time to do your crafting. And yeah, that's it for now. And I will see you soon. So until then, bye.